Attention, all sweepers inside the factory. The Tom Toms have entered the factory and stolen one of the big crystal fragments. Increase your patrols. Okay, I'm on our patrol. Monsters with time barriers have been discovered in the time oil well world. The Tom Toms are already there. Okay. Deciding time to go there, it's just kind of letting us know. Anyways, so welcome back right to the Blink's Two Masters Time and Space First Person Sweeper playthrough. Hi. You have some stuff to do. I don't know exactly what you're gonna say, and that is fine. Let's see if there's anybody else to talk to, though. So, we actually. Well, either I just finished up the TomTom -tom playthrough, actually. Which was rather pleasant aside from how a particular boss battle went. But anyhow. Hi. I wonder what your name is. I would not mind one day getting a significant portion of the unlockable team members, since there's only a finite amount of them. Oh, I was wanting to talk to you. I don't want this dude. Anyways, if you've gone into the theater, you can actually look at the Hall of Fame, which is the list of everybody you've recruited, and how each individual one is ranked. Like, there are like 150 Supers, 150 Tom Toms or something like that. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so I... I briefly considered getting a TS 16000 for Picro as well, since you see him using one in one shot of the opening scene of the game, but I'll just take that as a non-canon since you don't see him anywhere else. I'll just take it as them having not really paid enough attention to what they're doing. I'm not, yeah, I was going to head on off of there anyways, even though I still need to actually use um, the other ring up exam. Boop. Boop. Okay. That is all I need. I'm really pleasantly surprised I managed to get a team that didn't look like a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to do that in this game sometimes. Anyhow. What must we do, Jimmy? What things can we unlock? I don't really mean looking, I don't think, at this sort of thing very much. Not blinks. It's like the first game. Wait, wait, is it just the three set or the the, the iron spikes, uh, spike bullets in general? No, it's. <laughs> I need to prove that I am worthy of buying three at once. It's grand. Anyways. Ta da! We're actually a lot closer to the end of this game than I've been thinking earlier today. Man, I need to think about what I'm going to play after this. I don't think I'm going to jump straight into another playthrough of this game, despite having considered a like genocide Tom Tom playthrough. I'd have to come up with a company sweeper playthrough, most likely. I don't know what that would be. But I'm sure you guys would get kind of sick of me doing blanks too if I did the co-op playthrough, and then <laughs> this playthrough, and then another playthrough immediately afterwards. It would be kind of just file for you guys to be unhappy with that. I never thought about how this would work in first person. I'm guessing it doesn't. Oh my god. Oh, but how are you- but How do the controls on this work? Okay, well cool, I can hold whatever direction I want to go in. Okay, well- that hold whatever direction you want going thing is kind of a lie. It's just hold up to go faster or hold down to go slower. Whoa! Okay, now this is freaking weird. I did not expect this to work in first person. This is actually, if you look at some of the concept art for Blinks 1, this is actually. Shwo! Haha! This is actually a concept that was. It was. Catbird. This was actually introduced as a concept when, in the development of Blinks 1, but it was never implemented. It shows up in some of its concept art, which was shown in the concept art section of the Blinks The Time Zero Perfect Guide, strategy guide released in Japan. So it's kind of interesting to see it popped up in this game, although it only shows up on one level anyways. It's kind of a weird gimmick concept, I don't think anybody ever really asked for or needed at any point. 
That's not a bad idea. Anyways. Where is it? There we go. Not a lot more to do. Ah, this music, I love it. Some more of my favorite music in this game. I actually have... I don't have any memories of this particular level out of all of them. This is probably the one I remember the least. Like, I never replay this level or something, I guess. Ah, we're coming here after the fact, after the fires. Just haven't really thought about that. It seems like it seems to me like either the events of this game haven't really stuck with me all as well as they ought to have, or I just never really thought of them. It's just kind of I didn't really absorb all the information in the first place when I played this game before multiple times. I got both. Okay. something up in the corner of the sky. Anyway, so where do we want to go? I do remember this place has some level 2 trash. No. Free to have fun with, that's your thing. And that will be fine by me since I have a level 2 super. Not really any large reason to have a level 3 super in this game at any given point aside from just having more stuff to hold. Okay. Sure, I guess. Oh. Well, I can hold the button. That's my purpose in life. I do admit, the music you hear when it goes in reverse is quite pretty. That was an interesting look, uh, <laughs> interesting angle he was looking at. Anyways, I'm almost surprised this game didn't actually have a tutorial for how to put out fires. Man, it feels so wrong. Why couldn't we just use a flame sweeper? In fact, we do have a flame sweeper in this game, and in fact, Kron even uses the flame sweeper in the first game, which is not useful in this game. Why not do both? I mean, I'm no opponent of just taking both approaches. Hi. Anyways. So yes, a number of... Why are you pointing that one? Ha! Yeah! Thanks. Is there somewhere else to go? There's a door here. That's where I want to go later. That door won't open yet. Okay. Yeah, you'd think I will have spent some more time in this level just because I think I, mean, I think it's kinda cool in general. I mean, it just kinda subconsciously reminds me of Forge of Hours, and that's why I don't want to spend any time here. Aha! Okay. Didn't see that at all. That that literally dropped on my head. That's grand. Okay, cool. The wonder is a first person platforming. Hmm. Now then, yeah, it feels a lot more perilous jumping through all this stuff on fire when it's in first person, I have to admit. And he's flying at me from the flames. Oh, seriously? Quick record enemies. I know. Shouldn't you know that I had training in this anyways? Haha, <laughs> no, that's not where I'm trying to go. Whoa. Go out. Go out. I think you're not going to leave me alone for much longer than you already have. Go away. Hmm, 
I have a feeling that... I don't know if that second hit's gonna work. It shouldn't matter, I should probably get the first one easily. Come on. Ah, uh, the bugness of the floating trash is wonderful. Um, thanks for all the rewinds. Oh, still the rewinds. Why do I desire these? Anyways. Oh, hi. Almost missed this. And it seems like you're taking a single route, which is littered with both of the things that you can do. We only need to do one of the two things. This is a really odd approach to take. Just let the paths branch or something, which is something they usually do in other levels. But just not this one, it seems like. So nothing down there, I don't think. No. Alright. Oh. Okay. Close enough. If I get up, it's close enough, basically. How about up here? Aha! That's a very different experience in first person. I will say. It's also pleasant how the rumble in the controller as you do it too. Although as your speed picks up, the rumbling actually decreases, which I always thought was interesting. It's a good indication of max out your speed though. So you give us all the rewind. Bye. Boop. Boom. Boom. All is well. Oh, darn it. Well, that's kind of problematic. I can't shoot the, uh, extinguishing bullets without them exploding, so I can't reorganize my trash. Better? So how's the lava making the fire again? Like if there was, like, m methane or whatever flying out of these grates, that'd be one thing, because we'd be shutting off the gas. How do you pre sense fly thing? Something up here? No. But we're not doing that. Hi. You should always have plenty of pauses on you. Boom! Bounce! Bounce! Come on! Yeah! God, how can you not get a bang shot on something that's bouncing like that? There'll be more. Extinguishing bolts later, I'm sure. Anyways, anyone who's seen me play Blink Swan knows, or probably anyone who's played Blink Swan in general, knows just how important it is to always have one of those on hand. So if you retries, though, I don't see retry hearts very often at all in this game. Almost, are I almost done with both of those? Well, half done with one, one and then a lot more done with another. You have to respawn like that. Okay, so let's wait for this to get out of my way so it doesn't kill me. Hopefully I'm not going to get fried while I'm here. Okay, I, I like if you want more slowly. That works too. Why did that not kill me? Like, Molten things have killed me in the past in one shot. I'll take it, but whatever. Let's go. What about that little circle on the ground is there? Hello? Ouch. Hey! Where'd you go? Where'd you bounce? Stop that. Now then. Okay, a little bit more to do. Boom! I'd rather you're not right now. Health is hard to come by in this game. Sadly, I'm rather short on, unfortunately. So please back off. I mean, I'll take the well, okay, the trash exploded anyways. I was about to say I'll take the trash. It's cool to have. Okay, so what would I? Why would I go along there and risk? Even more certain death than the death that's over here. I feel like I need a justification for this. 
go up there? Yes, I do. Because I prefer to do this. So that was the last of it. It's a nice view of the place. Actually, it's about time to end the episode, too. Calm down, dude. You know what you're doing. That's not the voice of somebody that's composed. It's just for a cat metal, isn't it? Okay. Oh, hi. Back off. Just for the sake of wanting to get these things away from me. Hi. How many fires are there left? So that was just another, just another way of getting here. So that conveyor belt of death and all that was just another way of getting here, but without getting the switch that I needed to flip. That's interesting. Also, did I miss two fires, or did? Yeah, I guess I did. Huh? Oh no, I didn't. They're both red there. Okay. I just pull this. And I think those fires will actually take care of themselves. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yay! Alright, so we're just gonna get going before we finish off the episode then. Um. I'll use a fast forward. I'm not really comfortable using a fast forward here. You don't want to use a pause just to make life a lot easier, especially because it's pretty hard moving on this green conveyor belt. Yeah. If you. aren't using it. Retry! A singular heart throughout the whole level. It's not really something that helps me at all. Whatever. Is that it? I think that's it. So anyways, that will be it then for this episode of Let's Play. Well, I almost, I almost got... I almost got through the entire recording session without saying Let's Play. So that will be it for this episode of the first person playthrough of Blink's Doom Masters of Time and Space. First person peak row. See you guys next time next episode when we just do more super things, I suppose. Have fun. Oh, actually, this episode went way over. I went ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, whoops. I went five minutes over. Oh well. I guess that's not really something for you guys to complain about. See you guys!